So one is that how to overcome operational challenges in co-lending programs for successful collaboration between lenders. That's the first question. And another is what are the key factors for successfully integration of technology between banks and NBFCs and how to manage them uh, effectively for seamless collaboration. So if you can cover both these questions. So, and it, 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 there is an overlap because now yeah, everything has to be digital. So uh, you can't share a physical file with the co-lending partner for them to underwrite. So uh, since we are uh, in the process of going live uh, and it has been a, a, a rocky uh, way for us, uh, things go back and forth. Operationally, uh, what we saw is bankers do have a difference of opinion on the way we operate or the segment we operate in because they might not even have seen those customers. Like uh, there are basic, basic things where we have to explain to them why we do this. And uh, so uh, at the point which Mr. Uh, Pratim had, uh, Singh Gupta had said on the CLM side, See, there's a uh, bit, bit of dichotomy that uh, in CLM 1, we are expected to do a weighted average pricing. But in CLM 2, that is not possible because if I've already onboarded a customer, I can't do a weighted average pricing now because the banker might decide not to take the loan. I won't give a, so if the pricing is 20 and weighted average should be given 14, I would not give a 14% uh, rate to a customer and then decide ki, uh, the co-lending has not happened and I will uh, price accordingly. So there is a difference which is there. And that's why we would prefer to always do a CLM one, but the challenges on the IT and operations are very, uh, I would say magnified when we go on CLM one. CLM two operationally is quite good, but uh, eventually it is not giving any benefit to the customer because NBFCs would not charge lower knowing that it will uh, give the pricing subsequently from the core end. So that I think somewhere uh, RBI will have to uh, come up with a more clarity. How do we do that? Because uh, it will finally have to be passed on to the customer. It's like DA. I have already sourced. I would not reduce the pricing just because the case went in the co-lending. Other is on the uh, sharing of uh, charges. Uh, sometimes bankers uh, feel that we are charging too high rate, too high charges because the intent is to reach out to the customer of this. But I, uh, as an NBFC, I would not change a policy. So operationally, it becomes difficult uh, internally to sell the uh, product. Uh, forget getting the policy approved, uh, even the commercials uh, to share a particular fees because OPEX is ours. So why should I share a fees? So basic questions like those uh, pop up. So, uh, but uh, fortunately the partner we have selected, we have been able to have uh, very positive discussions with them. And uh, I think on the PSU side, uh, that is going to be a challenge. Uh, whoever does the discussions with PSU because over there, there is a bit of bureaucracy. There would be some challenges where uh, they would be accepting few things and they will have to go back to their committees, to boards, to change. And it's a very long driven process. So for a private sector bank, if we have taken six to eight months to actually go live, for PSU, I can expect this can be a year or one and a half. Uh, and uh, I think on the IT side, uh, private sector banks are a little uh, easy to navigate. Uh, we have not as of now gone on PSU side, but... Uh, I expect that uh, is going to be a much, much bigger nightmare for us. But uh, surely it is a very good opportunity for us as well as on the uh, uh, customer side that under CLM1, they would surely get a benefit. On the operating uh, thing, other thing which uh, comes to my mind is uh, basic things like a check presentation. Uh, it is very difficult for NBFCs to change their way of uh, uh, moving. So I can present a check, but expecting a NBFC to actually collect cash and only deposit those many customer cases in the bank account or the SK account. So there will, ha will have to be some clarity in writing to be given by RBI. It cannot happen subsequently that the RBI comes and says, Ki, you are not allowed to deposit in your main bank account, but you have to deposit in the escrow account. So those clarities or those FAQs will have to be uh, clearly uh, mentioned by RBI because that becomes a concern. 